Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue, sign up for your free trial, and when you do sign up for the service, make sure to use promo code rogue at checkout. You'll make us look good, keep us in business. Also get 10% off your first order. Please. Pretty please? No. I'm trying to be nicer. Yes, no, no, we're giving them a gift. You don't say please when you give them a gift. What do you, what do you, Merry Christmas, please. You're welcome. It's, there Fine, you go. how about Thank that? You. You're Thank welcome. You. So construction is actually starting. Yes, next week. It's freaking amazing. The only downside is that people keep showing up. Like fans? No, fans would be too cool to show up unannounced. I mean like TMZ Cobra, the Fists of the North Star, Sissy Spacek. The sharks and the jets. Yes, the jet sharks are the worst. The ones with the sharks with the jetpacks and they come in and oh, we have jetpacks. We're from an alternate future. Blood angels. Yes. The blood angels here. The bloody angels and the blood angels, two different sects. Uh, Did you know that? Both of them? Constantly shooting at I didn't at even me. realize it was different. It's a real problem. The five points of the hexagon, the star trappers. Josh and Drake. No, real ones. Like President Barack Obama, not the actual president. That's his name. His name is President oh, Barack oh, Obama. His name is... I... You were serious? Yeah. There's like... I thought you were just doing a bit. I thought it was a joke. We'll get him to the infirmary. Huh. All right, so if you want to get an injured person out of the woods, you're going to need two big sticks. You want them as straight as possible, about six feet, unless they're just freakishly tall. Okay, these look like you intentionally sawed and pruned them. I'm going to guess that you can't rely on finding these perfectly. Where did you get these? This one I cut myself, and then I found this one in a pile of others that were already pre-cut after I had cut this one. Here on the property? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. So, yeah. so this is genuine. Okay. Well, I did go and saw off all of the little spurs and everything. Sure, but what you want is something about the height of a human being. Yeah, the straighter the better, right? Because these are going to be like the, the handles. This is the core of our stretcher. And this looks like what, like an inch and a half thick at least? Something that's going to bear whatever load you're going to put on it. Right. We've got three different techniques, but uh, you're going to want them as straight as possible. This one is, uh, I think this will be okay. So let's say you don't have anything on you whatsoever. You don't have any clever equipment. Like you're just out and about and you have to do a totally, you know, emergency situation. Situation, what would you do? You're gonna to want to take off, if you have it, hopefully, your jacket. I would assume that whatever clothing you have on, you'd be able to do. Do we unzip this or zip it? First, you're gonna take the sleeves and you're gonna turn them inside out. Okay, so unzipped. And then you zip it up. Okay. With the sleeves inside, right? Oh, wild. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I probably should have just left it zipped in. Zipped up. There you go. Sleeves inside. So the whole thing is inside out? You're just pulling the sleeves. Yeah, you okay. want the sleeves inside so the actual. Outs right side out, but also, there we go. Yeah. yeah like a vest. You made Marty it, McFly. Made it way hard. No, I mean, uh, I just took the long way around. That's why. <laughs> okay. You're going to take the sticks. Oh, I think I see this. And slide them through the sleeves. Okay, okay, right? great. And so in this case, we're not going to have a stretcher that goes all the way down the length of the body, but we're gonna be able to catch the heavy parts, right? Right. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, right see? Here. And then I'll do this one. Oh, this is great. Okay, we'll do this one. Man, this would be a pain in the butt if you're only one person. Right. Wait, can any of these work with one person? Or I guess you need a team. To, you to are gonna have to it. have a team. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess I guess you could have made some could, kind of travo travoy, is that like what a, uh, or a litter? Is that what it's called? No, like no. where you where you drag somebody? I guess you could do that. But here, let's lay it down, okay. dude. This is gonna work. Yeah. See, and that took us what a minute, like, two minutes. Yeah. All right, here, let's roll them on and see if we can get it to work. Do you just roll a body over? I mean, an injured I person. It, I guess it <laughs> probably shouldn't call it a body. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean. All right, here, let's get it close. I don't know what the circumstances you're imagining are, man. <laughs> but I'm with it. I'm not going to say a word. All I know is we're getting them to the infirmary. Here, uh, pull this real close. Okay. You grab grab the legs, and we go, we'll go on three. We're just going to toss him? Yeah, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> okay, all right, there you go. Here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see if we can lift him. To the infirmary! Yeah! <laughs> All right, dump them back out. There we go. Great. All right, so what if you got a little more to work with? Let's say you've got your tarp. Let's say you're out camping. You're out camping, okay. Yeah, so you've got a camping tarp here. This one seemed to work because these are already tubes, 
but a flat plane, I assume there's some kind of crazy origami to make it like a tube or? It really didn't seem that complicated. So we get it all the way wide open. Uh, it depends on how wide it is. Okay. But this one's pretty big. I didn't. Okay. Yeah. I got a big one. You won't mind for a moment. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And then we just roll them up in that and jump them in the creek bed. No. <laughs> Wrong episode. Wrong oh, episode. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Oh, hold on. I think I'm picking up where you're going with this. Yeah. You, you lay down the sticks on it and then you fold, fold. Yep. And then his own weight keeps everything. Exactly. Okay. You want to fold it into thirds. Hey, give me a stick. We got too much wind. There you go. All right. There we go. Like that. Okay. You could probably do even less than thirds. Yeah, this is a particularly big tarp, so. Yeah, no, this is gonna be great, though. And in fact, you can even, here, lift, lift up the sticks, and you can even kind of let it dangle. Yep. Right? There you go. So now you're holding on to everything. His weight is gonna keep it sealed in there. Yeah. We could do it better and cleaner and everything, depending on how I far mean, you have to carry I mean, but if you're in an emergency him. situation, you're just gonna wanna go right away anyway. Exactly. Yeah, let's just roll them on. Ready? Roll them. Two. All right. Okay, One, ready. two, three. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm stepping on the tarp. That's a problem. He's breathing. That's well, good. I'm holding on to it, but I feel the tarp wanting to move. I'm going to stick my hands in and grab just the sticks. Okay. Yeah, I can't even get to them. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. All right, I'm ready? Good. I got One, a good grip. Two, three. <gasps> it does. All right. Now we can get him to the M infirmary. Yeah, the see? The M, M infirmary. Just... The M infirmary? <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what we used to do with my, my toddler. <laughs> we used to swing her in a blanket like Whee! this. <laughs> All right, one more. All right. This one, I believe, if you're camping. The other one, I believe, if you have a jacket. Worst case, I guess you could probably make it work with your shirts. Yeah, I think uh, if it's not a jacket, if you're just using your shirt, then uh, it runs the risk of tearing it or whatever. And now at the risk of being like a walking cliche, there's one thing that fixes everything. Duct tape. Yeah. All right, how's this one work? All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, with about six feet here, we're gonna make bars and three X's. So how so many, okay. Bar, X, bar, X, bar, X, bar. Four bars, three X's. Of course, this is true of gaff tape and packing tape, but people think that duct tape will stick to anything. It sticks like garbage to most things. It sticks very good to duct tape. So unless you make a complete ah. loop, you're not gonna see a lot of strength to it. Whenever I try to use tape, as you well know, it's a disaster. <laughs> you, do, you do have a curse. I end up just getting all <laughs> tangled up and it cuts the circulation off and then we've gotta to go to the M infirmary. In this case, I did all the sticky parts on the inside, but it wants to do that thing where it's like bunching up wrong. It's not really a problem, it's netting. We're just making netting. So if it's sticky or whatever, fine, as long as it's, gonna support him with this weight. Okay, well here, why don't you throw me the other duct tape you, and you work from that side in. Okay. You, of course, wanna make sure that you keep it wide enough that you're gonna be able to carry him on it, right? Yeah, mine started wide, but then it started to bunch up and get a little bit tight. Hmm. So for the X's, we're, oh, here, I have an idea. Start that on the far corner. Like right here? Yeah, and then I loop it around here. And now I'm gonna keep on going. Okay. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Right? So that's one zigzag. And then one more zigzag. I'm just gonna keep going, see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> this is by far the ugliest one. <laughs> no. Man, who would have thought that duct tape was garbage? One lesson we already learned is expect the duct tape to contract make it wider yeah. oh, than you think you need. Here, let's take a look at it. Ooh, that's some garbage. Yeah, that's uh, mm, that's, uh, that's, a, that's uh, a thing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not how they do it. Okay, sure, <laughs> let's give it a shot. I mean, you're like, I think it's safe to say that in an emergency, you gotta move fast, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't sit there and do arts and crafts out. Man, I hope he doesn't fall off. One, two, three, yeah. Okay. Ugh. Ah, it works. Let's get him to the infirmary. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we should unmask him and figure out what faction he's from. Oh, that's a good point. Okay. Grant Davis of the Beerists. Mm. Guys, I gotta say, we could go to the infirmary or 
We can go to the mini bar. Hey. Hey. Oh, you. <laughs> <sighs> nice place you got here. Sorry you got hurt. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> Ryan, how's it going with the website? Dude, it's great. So we've talked before about how the fact that Squarespace makes it easy if you're not a web person yep. to create a beautiful looking website. Now we're trying something a little bit more advanced, but it's a big deal to completely redo a website, which is why I'm so stoked to find out there's a whole ecosystem of Squarespace specialists who are able to rework your website with the highest end designs. This is the beauty of scaling where it's like, yes, you can do it yourself using one of the award-winning templates, or you can customize everything, which you know, you got to find a grown up who knows what they're doing. Maybe you are a grown up, but everything's going along swimmingly. It's super accessible. It's so easy and flexible that you can just get in there and play around and make it do really whatever you want with little to no knowledge of code. Whether it's a blog portfolio, any kind of website, uh, sign up for a free trial, build it, make it beautiful, then use promo code rogue at checkout. You get 10% off your first order, but most importantly, you keep us in business. When are they going to see our new launch? Hey, wait, what are you, a cop? Uh, as soon as as soon as we can. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts here. <laughs> it's gonna be great though. <laughs> Thank you, Squarespace. <laughs> Please, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Be excellent, excellent. to each other. <laughs> oh, nowadays, you know what the kids recognize is the Wii song. Do 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 do. Oh, just like the opening thing yeah. to the Wii. Do do do. do. Do, do, I always do, like do, the, the Nintendo do, do, ambient sound do, effects do, and the do, little do, click noises do. when you select things on the Wii. Toot, toot, toot.